Return to office in the way we used to do before will not be, it will be a delusion. People will not go back. They have tasted the freedom and the autonomy and they would continue to want it. Yet, we should therefore look at now the big picture. The big picture of what's happening to the changing course of work. We know that employers want employees to show up at work, so and that will have a bearing. At the same time, employees too want to go to office because they understand there are some benefits of doing that. And But the only question is they want to do it on their terms. The good news is we have a lot of research going on on this subject. I'm referring to surveys that were very, very recent. In August, uh, there's this famous job site, uh, Indeed, and they did a large survey on across sectors on hundreds of professionals. 70% of them say they must get hybrid or remote work to choose a job. Now in the US too, very similar findings we see. One of the most um, ongoing study, which Professor Nick Bloom in Stanford is doing on this subject, has found some interesting uh, findings. One, that in spite of pandemic normalizing, there has been a four-fold increase between 2019 and now to the percentage of people working from home. They're about close to 30% now. Hybrid work is not seen to be having an adverse impact either on productivity or engagement. In fact, a recent study that I personally supervised for a doctoral thesis here at ISB in Hyderabad on a mid-sized company, again with hard evidence showed that there is no decline either in productivity or engagement because people work in a hybrid way. I think we have reached an interesting point in history where the old world of work is dead. And yet the new is yet to be born. We are kind of struggling to create a new equilibrium. If we want this new work order to settle down. Employers must not confuse attendance with productivity and learn new ways of managing people. They should be not mere overseers of work. They should actually enable outcomes of work. On the other hand, employees cannot lax and moonlight in the name of work from home. They must reinforce trust by fulfilling their part of the equation with diligence. Both have a lot of benefits. If you worked from offices, you can build bonding culture and collaboration. But if you work from home, both organizations and societies benefit. Organizations benefit in lower real estate costs and uh, greater flexibility to employees, as well as reduce carbon and commute pains. So in my view, the writing on the wall is clear. We must learn to blend home with office. Flexibility will be the new currency of work and organizations.